pretty much amazing. Yeah. Hey there guys and gals, today I'm bringing you an another piece of the Assassin's Creed pie. This is episode 10 of my Let's Play Assassin's Creed series, and so far, let me think, so far we've been to Masyaf, gotten the book, and now we're in Constantinople. This is our first armor buy. We just met Yusuf. What else did we do? Hmm. Anyway, that's not the point. Right now I'm just gonna buy some armor. I don't plan to talk during the cutscenes because a lot of people like to hear the story and so do I. I think it's rude to talk over the cutscenes so I'm just gonna watch, let them play out right now. Praise the heavens! We feared we had lost our mentor to the vices of the big city. I am content with my own vices, grazie. So, what's on your mind, Ezio? Tell me more about the Templars. You call them Byzantines. Yet the Byzantine Empire was overthrown 60 years ago. These men are remnants of a line loyal to the cause of the last Emperor, Constantine XI. Who leads them now, however? I cannot say. Capisco. I suppose it is up to me to find out. Ezio. Where is your hook blade? My hook blade? You've never seen one? I grew up using these. Hmm. Show me how it works. So I wanted to do something a little different today. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a quick history. I don't know if I'll be able to fit it all in this video, but thank god I post... I'm gonna post another video today. Anyway, a brief history of Constantinople when... during the setting of the game, because so many times we play games, uh, I play games, I don't know if I can speak for you guys, but I play games and I don't really look past the game. It's like, these are real cities, and I, I thought I just bring this to you guys. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Don't listen. Turn the volume off. Whatever. But I wanted to bring a brief history of Constantinople during the time the game is set, which is 1511 AD. Okay, here we go. I actually have it written out and everything. Constantinia. Constantinia. Yeah, there we go. Which is modern-day Istanbul, was founded in 330 AD. And for you those of you who don't know what AD means, it means Anno Domini, or before Christ, if you don't follow the Roman Catholic or Catholic calendar. It was founded by the ancient Byzantines, which were, I think, an early Greek empire. Uh, it was founded by them, uh, then later taken over by the Roman empires by Constantine the first hereby granting its name of Constantinople. It was the most prosperous and largest urban city. Now, if you think of that in modern day terms, that would probably be like New York or LA, just massive. But this is in the Middle Ages, so I don't really know what you would compare it to Middle Ages st standards, because it would be different for Middle Ages. And if you don't know when the Middle Ages was, it was from the 15th century, oh no, I messed that up, I'm sorry guys, from the 5th century to the 15th century. Constantinople sat on Asia and Europa, which is today Europe. And this allowed it to have an amazing position in relations to the trade routes. Trade routes, you know, fur, silk, fur. Fur would be from here. Anyway, fur, silk, spices, anything you guys could want. Oh, this is just a little hook blade. You guys, you guys can read this one. Anyway, uh, trade routes. If mo a big trade route actually would have been the Silk Road, but that that's another history lesson. These trade routes that 
Constantinople was known for was the Aegean Sea and the Black Sea trade routes. This allowed oh my computer almost fell asleep there. This allowed it to remain the capital of the Greek speaking empire for thousands of years. Now think about that guys. Thousands of years. We don't talk about things in terms of thousands anymore. That is pretty impressive to me. That uh, That's it guys. I just wanted to bring you a quick brief lesson of the history of the real city during this time of this fictional game. Because I've played a lot of games and I'm like, hmm. You know, I, I kind of want to learn more about what this actual city was like, what city life was like during the real city of the game, like Brotherhood in Rome. Well, I know a bit about Rome because I'm, I'm, I, st I study history, but I've never really looked into Constantinople aside from this game, so I figured why not share it because I'm sure somebody out there wants to know the same thing as I am wondering because it, it, it is interesting to know hmm these are actually real cities real people lived here during ancient times well Constantinople people still live there or in Istanbul people still live there so I don't if you guys don't want me to I'll probably do it like in other games I play or maybe I'll find some what 60 seconds I was right there whatever I'll probably do it in other games I gonna play but tell me what you guys think if you want more I can find more about Constantinople or uh, where else do we go here we don't go anywhere else at Constantinople this isn't like bro uh, not Brotherhood uh, Assassin's Creed 2 but I th I just like it I think it's impressive And, uh, oh, sorry guys, I kind of zoned out there. I gotta say something though. When you synchronize, they switch the button, for PlayStation 3 at least, when you synchronize, it's not as epic as it was in Brotherhood. You get, you know, you hit the button and this epic music would cue in, and it would rotate, and it would do all these cool things. But, I don't know, it doesn't feel as epic in this game. It's still pretty cool. I mean, the graphics are amazing. This probably took forever to draw out and do. I appreciate it, but it's not as epic as Brotherhood, I find. But that's just my opinion. I, I like Brotherhood better, but this is still an amazing game. So if you guys want to see more of History 101, yeah, it would be History 101. I feel like a teacher here. History 101. Then let me know. I'll try my darndest to find stuff about history of the city. And remember, this is history of the city during the time Ezio is playing the game. So, from the founding to 1511 AD. But if you guys want me to do earlier history, or more of the history, or after Ezio left, the fall of Constantinople, modern day Istanbul, I can do that for you guys. But it all depends on you guys. And if you want to hear me ramble on about ancient history, it doesn't really matter to me. So uh, I'm just going to leave it here. You guys watch the rest, because I don't want to bore you with talking about random crap. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. Time to part company. I'll head to the bazaar, you stay here. Do you see that tower? See, si. the Galata Dane. Evet. I can't be in two places at once, but with you here, I don't have to be. Hide it, Ascale.
seems familiar. Unebuke, Sheriff Usta. Is Yusuf with you? An attack in this city demands his attention. What is our situation? We beat back the vanguard, but they are sure to send more troops. Are your men ready for another fight? They are now. <laughs> 